Hello everyone and welcome to another medical video of mine. Now today we're going to discuss part one question and the topic that I've chosen for today is GIT. So we are going to discuss one part one question from the GIT section. Okay, so let's get started. So the question reads as, a 60 year old man presents with dysphagia and pain and swallowing, both liquids and solids. A baby moon showed gross dilatation of the esophagus with smooth narrowing at the low end of the esophagus. What is the single most likely cause of dysphagia? Well, let's look at the options that are given to us. A is aphasia, B is myasthenia gravis, C is esophageal carcinoma or esophageal cancer, D is esophageal web, and E is systemic sclerosis. So this is the question and these are the options. So now, Let's look at the question and let's look at some of the clues that are given to us in the question that point us towards the correct answer. So, the first clue that is given to us is a six year old man presents with dysphagia when swallowing both liquids and solids. So, guys, this is something that you need to note down or remember for Club One that dysphagia to both solids and liquids is. A characteristic feature is typical of ecclesia. Okay, and whenever there is generally there is a maternity disorder, okay, that impairs esophageal peristalsis, that will always cause to difficulty with both the lipids and solids. In contrast, if there is dysphagia mainly to solids or only to solids, and then later on there is progression to problems with liquids, that is when we are thinking of esophageal cancer, okay? But we will be discussing this point later on as well. So for now, just remember that with this dysphagia to both solids and liquids, we are thinking of ecclesia, we are thinking of some kind of motility disorder, okay? Some impairment in esophageal peristalsis. Now, what's the second clue that is given to us in this question? If you look at the question, we are given some investigation findings, okay? So we have been told that the baby removal study has already been done, and we have been given the findings. And if you look at the findings, if you look at what is given to us, it's written here, there is gross dilatation of the esophagus, and then there is smooth narrowing at the low end of the esophagus, okay? Now, literally what they have done, they have explained in words, they have described in words, what we call as bird speak appearance. And this is what we characteristically see in ecclesia, okay? So let me show you so that you can really understand what I mean. So this is what we call as birds beak appearance. So if you look at the screen, you can see at the top, the esophagus is grossly dilated. So there is a, it is dilated, okay? But if you move down the esophagus and you look at the lower end, you can see that it tapers, it narrows into a smooth narrowing, okay? So this is what it's called bird's beak because it looks very similar to bird's beak, okay? So cross dilatation at the top, dilated at the top, but as we come down, there is narrowing, okay? It narrows down, okay? So this is the second clue that is given to us in the question. So the first one was that this ratio was to both liquids and solids, okay? That tells us that there's some kind of maternity disorder, and ecclesia is a maternity disorder, as you know. And the second clue that was given to us was the investigation findings, the baby mean study findings that was given to us in the question. So if we look at the options that was given to us so that it tells us the correct answer is ecclesia. Another point that is worth remembering for ecclesia is that the dysphagia, it's progressive dysphagia, okay? And not in, intermittent. But we will discuss this later on as well. So for now, we know that the correct answer is ecclesia. Let's quickly look at a recap of what ecclesia is and what are the main symptoms, okay? Just a quick recap. So ecclesia, it is a motility disorder, okay? Because there is impairment of peristalsis of the esophagus, and there is impaired relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter. So that is the reason that leads to dysphagia and the food cannot pass through beyond the lower esophageal sphincter because it doesn't relax, doesn't relax this, okay? One of the main symptoms that we see in a patient with aphasia is like progressive dysphagia, of course, so there is problem with swallowing. 
there's regurgitation, um, there is heartburn, and there is chest pain, usually after eating. And you also see drooling of saliva, and you also see significant weight loss, okay? but it is gradual. So what are the kind of tests or investigations that we do for ecclesia if you're suspecting ecclesia in a patient? As first one is barium swallow, the barium meal study. And you basically do all drinking a white liquid which contains the barium, and then the x-rays are taken. And what it really shows is what we call as birth decoherence that I showed you before as well. So this is what I showed you. So this is birth decoherence, and this is what you will see when you actually do this study, okay? And the second study that you can do is manometry. It is basically to measure the pressure, okay? And because there is impairment, because there is impaired relaxation of the lower soft cell sphincter, uh, you, that leads to higher resting pressure. So you can basically um, measure the pressure of the lower soft cell sphincter and it will be higher, okay? So these are the two uh, investigations that you do with Clasia. Now let's look at some treatment options that we have got for us. So uh, the first treatment option is obviously the medications. There are some medications that can help relax the muscles in the esophagus. And uh, some of the medications that are used are nitrates and nifedipine. So basically what it does is just relaxes the muscles in the esophagus because we know that there's a problem with the relaxation of the lower esophagus sphincter and that's what we want to do. The second treatment option is called balloon dilatation. We literally put a balloon uh, down the esophagus and then we just blow it up. And what it does is just reduce the narrowing. Okay. And the third option that we have is a surgical option, of course, and it's called Helles myotoming. So what it literally involves is like cutting of the extra muscle of the lower soft cell sphincter in order to relieve the narrowing, in order to allow the food and the liquid to pass through, okay, to make some way for it. So the third option is surgical option, and that is called Helles myotoming. Okay, now let's look at some of the other options that were given to us in the question. So let me just show you the options once again. So we know that the correct option, the correct answer is ecclesia, but what about the other options that is given to us, like esophageal cancer, esophageal web, systemic fluorosis, myasthenia gravis? So let's look at, quickly run through the other options. So you have to remember that in esophageal cancer, yes, there will be dysphagia, there will be problem in swallowing, of course, but it can mainly be to solids, okay? So dysphagia, just remember this point for plot. Dysphagia mainly to solids, okay? Or dysphagia, which is initially to solids, and then later, at in the very later stages, it, it is to liquids, okay? So this is the difference between dysphagia, which is due to esophageal cancer, and in contrast to casia, where there is dysphagia on both, to both solids and liquids, as we saw in the question. So that's what you have to remember. Also, if the answer was a soft cell cancer, you would be given some other symptoms, other constitutional symptoms of cancer, such as unintentional weight loss or anorexia and other symptoms like that. So this is what you have to remember. Okay. Uh, if, what if the answer was actually a soft cell web? Uh, you have to remember this thing that for a soft cell web, it will actually, the dysphagia won't be progressive but in fact, it will be intermittent. So intermittent dysphagia to solids is how esophageal webs really literally present, okay? And the question will tell you that, that is intermittent. So you have to look for the keyword of intermittent dysphagia, okay? And there was another option given in the question that was systemic sclerosis. Now, as you might know, that it is a multi-system disease, okay? And of course, this stage is one of the symptoms, but in the question, there will be additional symptoms given. And if you remember uh, what we call as crest, okay? And the, this is the way to remember the main symptoms uh, that are seen in systemic sclerosis. So C stands for calcinosis, okay? So there are literally uh, calcium deposits. Also R stands for Reynolds phenomenon. Okay, so the patient will literally complain that when they go out in the cold, like, you know, the, the fingertips or the fingers, they turn pale and bluish. Okay, and if, if the answer was that, the question will give you that. Okay, 
So discoloration of fingertips, you know, to pale or to brush color when they go out in cold. Okay, that is a classic way that Raynaud's phenomenon presents. Okay, he is obviously a superficial dysfunction that leads to dysphagia. Okay, and a patient might also complain of sclerodectal, which is like hardening or thickening of the skin. So you literally find it very difficult to literally uh, move your hands. Okay, they will be very stiff. So that was the correct answer then obviously uh, one of those symptoms will be given in the question as well, okay? So you really have to look at all the symptoms that are given in the question and look at the picture that is being painted. As for now, you can see that in our question, it was two things given to us, two clues, which was dysphagia and pain and swelling both liquids and solids. That is one clue number one. And the second thing that you have to remember is the classic findings, the bird beaks appearance that they have literally described in here, which is which involves that the softness is grossly dilated at the top, but down there it is very narrow. Okay. And this is what we call a bird's beak appearance. And this was the second clue that tells us that yes, this is Ecclesia is the correct answer. And as we have already mentioned some of the other options and why they were not the correct options. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.